Good morning. It's a privilege to be here. It's a privilege to listen to Adnan's story. Be shot in the back and still be alive when they thought he was dead. And then his parents and his sister to be killed. This is appalling. This is my vehicle. I have with me today many officers, non-commissioned officers and soldiers of my regiment and other regiments. In particular, I have my second in command, Colonel Tim Park, who was with me, and also the driver of this vehicle, who was a captain, he shouldn't have been driving it, but he was driving me that day, Richard Ford Johnson. I didn't believe that people, women and children, and men would be murdered in a country like Bosnia. The soldiers on the hill, they were Bosnian army, Bosnian Muslim army, told me that women and children were being murdered, had been murdered in Ahmici. I came here because I didn't believe it would happen. I could not believe what I saw. I have to say that I came here with an interpreter called Debrilla Kalaba. The interpreters I had came from all three sides. Dabrila was a Serb. Her boyfriend was a Muslim, another interpreter. We had all three sides as interpreters. We have brought every single one of them here today. Last night we gave them the United Nations Medal for their services. I very much hope, Adnan, that this country will now go forward as one, not three separate parts. I'm a politician now. And as a politician, I represent every single person in my constituency. Over a half of them voted for me. But less than a half did not. But I represent them all. They are just as important to me, those people that didn't vote for me, as those that did. And we have some great men here on the front row. Recipients who are going to shape the future of this country. This country is a wonderful place. The people here can achieve great things and when I was here, I was greatly helped by people who were serving in uniform. 
I kad sam bio ovdje, dok sam bio ovdje, pomogli su mi ljudi koji su provodili svoje vrijeme u uniformama. Selmo Sikotik je sitting on row 5. Selmo Sikotik je u petom redu. He was a captain. On je tad bio kapetan. And through his efforts, he saved lives of my soldiers. I svojim naporima spašavao je živote i mojih vojnika. I pay tribute to him. I njemu odajem priznanje. I don't want to talk to do too long. Ne želim predugo govoriti. But can I just remind everyone here that Dobrila Kalaba, who translated, interpreted for me on the 22nd of April, 1993, lost her life, was killed because she interpreted for me on behalf of the people of Ahmici, and she was a Serb. I pay great tribute to the Grand Mufti and the leaders of Bosnia and the local politicians who allowed a memorial to Dabrila to be put up in the mosque churchyard. Zaista želim da se zahvalim Rei Sulemi i političkim liderima koji su omogućili i dozvolili da se ploča, spomen ploča, dobro li postavi u dvorište. That is very decent. I to je zaista divna gesta. But most of all I pay tribute to the survivors. Ali prije svega odajem počast preživjelima. The people who lost their lives. I onima koji su izgubili svoje živote. The families who suffered so much. I have to say the message, if I have a message, is please, please, the leaders of this country, stop the young people leaving the country. And that will happen if young people feel they have a future. I'm making a slightly political speech now as a soldier, ex-soldier. And I'm wearing a badge here which shows where my feelings lie. We the British really value Bosnia. We have here the British ambassador in row two. He's here. We have Anda, my good friend, the Bosnian ambassador in London, who's soon to be replaced, and he's been a tremendous ambassador. As I said, we've had we have our interpreters here, and all they all represent different shades of opinion. I've spoken too long. But I have to say to the leaders, Your Excellencies, God bless the work you do. I really hope that Bosnia will flourish and the, the murders that occurred here on the 16th of April, those people that lost their lives will have not lost their lives in vain. And that we will use this, this tragedy, to make this country a great country in Europe. God bless the people who have lost so much. God bless this country. Thank you.